Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled A Crown of Thorns, A Crown of Glory, December 16th. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Matthew 24, verse 30 Christ is coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Who will meet him in peace? Who will be among that number to whom the words apply? He shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. It is called the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. His coming surpasses in glory all that the eye has ever seen. Far exceeding anything the imagination has conceived will be his personal revelation in the clouds of heaven. Then there will be a perfect contrast to the humility which attended his first advent. Then he came as the son of the infinite God, but his glory was concealed by the garb of humanity. Then he came without any worldly distinction of royalty, without any visible manifestation of glory. But at his second appearing, he comes with his own glory and the glory of the Father and attended by the angelic host of heaven. In the place of that crown of thorns which marred his brow, he wears a crown within a crown. No longer is he clad with the garments of humility, with the old kingly robe placed upon him by his mockers. No, he comes clad in a robe whiter than the whitest white. Upon his vesture and thigh a name is inscribed, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. As the representative of God, Christ appeared in human flesh. Though in the form of a man, he was the Son of God, and the world was given an opportunity to see how it would treat God. Christ declared, He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. John 14, verse 9 But when he comes the second time, divinity is no longer concealed. He comes as one equal with God, as his own beloved Son, Prince of heaven and earth. He is also the Redeemer of his people, the Life-Giver. The glory of the Father and the Son are seen to be one. Then shall he shine forth before his ancients gloriously. Isaiah 24, verse 23 Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.